Hello and welcome to another video. In this video I went down to my local park, very boring tree, but I used my Mavic Air 2 to uh, put a point of interest mode on and take a couple of passes from different angles around the tree. This is just a video of the tree, but I took some shots in raw DNG and it's maybe about three and a half meters high. So this would have been difficult to capture with uh, standard photogrammetry or um, the LiDAR sensor in the iPhone that I've been covering in my previous videos. This tree has just been just the right height uh, to benefit from the DJI and there not being any obstacles in the way. Well, there was trees in the way, but I, I flew close enough not to um, crash into anything. We had some decent high resolution images. So an idea of the sort of images that were taken, we'll see here. Trees filling as much of the frame as we possibly can for these images, so they're really not too bad. I, I don't know that much about the quality of the camera on the Air 2. I know it's not as good as the Pro. Uh, 12 megapixel, but some relatively sharp resolution here. And we'll see what kind of detail came out in the photogrammetry process there. So for the photogrammetry, I'm using this um, free application called Meshroom which uh, in the past I thought hasn't been up to scratch with MetaShape or um, Reality Capture but given that it's free and it's been getting some press recently I thought I'd give it a go and it actually didn't really do too badly at all here and the texture came out quite well as well um, so I'll show you that in a minute in Blender and I'll go about making a low resolution version and UVing it and then either importing it in here to texture again or else texturing it in Blender itself by baking down like I showed in my last video. So this is the mesh from Meshroom imported into Blender and trimmed down and I'm just going to go in here and go into edit mode and trim out some of the vertices here. So the one thing I don't do here is move the position of the tree. Well, you can, but you've got to reset it back before you import it into Meshroom. And I did have some issues with the positioning of this when I imported it back into Meshroom, but I managed to retopologize this mesh here and then import it back into that for texturing from the photographs I took. So in this next part, I'm going to open up the VR template in Unreal and make some modifications under the project settings which i'll show you in the other video for how to make this run on the quest and start just going about here removing some of the things in the scene and then importing what i want to and here i'm just making a mess of importing the textures into unreal because i've imported 2048 by 2048 and i'm going to go for uh, either 1024 or 512 no normal maps at this stage, but obviously if you follow the steps in my previous tutorials, you can create normal maps and get some realism in these meshes. But here's the idea is just to try and get the best performance we can. So I'm just taking that VR template and just cleaning it up, removing the stuff that's there and just putting in a few platforms, changing the lighting and putting some materials from the mobile starter in there, fixing the UVs, uh, saving and applying these materials and then ready to import some of my 3D scanned geometry into the scene well I've imported I'm just going to drag it in here and if you remember from one of my previous videos we had this shoe which hadn't had any of its textures fixed or anything it was done through the iPhone 12 on photogrammetry and we're just bringing that in I haven't even bothered to scale it correctly here so just scaling it in the engine and seeing how that's going to look rendered very low poly mesh here I think it's got something like 19,000 faces which is good because I'm going to use it as an object to as a pickup in my scene to throw and watch it emulate some physics as, as it hits other objects and the material there just just a texture map again no normal maps here just a 512 by 512 texture map um, hopefully it should work well on the quest we'll see in a moment So what I'm doing here is just going up to the pickup blueprint and changing it for the shoe 
and that should be able to be picked up whenever I press the controllers triggers on the controllers and attach itself to my controller and then when I release it I can throw it at another object and uh, watch the physics apply to the object which should be quite interesting and if you'd watched any of my previous videos I got this ugly head which I got through the iPhone um, lidar sensor and I actually have the iPhone true depth sensor sorry and I am putting, bringing that into my scene as well now, scaling it up a little bit here. Again, another very low poly mesh, which I would um, showed you how to close and decimate and retopologize. I don't even think I've got a UV map in this. Um, I might have a basic UV map, but I'm just gonna make a very simple material for this with just a single color and see how that looks in the final scene. The remaining thing to do here is just build the lighting and then ready to um, go. Uh, once everything's correct and you follow the right steps you should just see the quest pop up here and you can send your project to that and we'll play it in a moment. Uh, this usually takes a couple of minutes but on my one annoyingly it doesn't tell you when it's ready you just have to pull the cable out of the quest and there it is ready for you to play. Got a good enough frame rate out of this uh, it was mostly in the green a little bit of orange here and there but performance seemed to be great a uh, bit of tweaking still to do in the project settings for this to get the ultimate, the, the best results. But certainly the physics is fast, it's moving concisely. Just really impressed that you can get this off a small little um, Android device like this. So if this is, I've had the, many of the previous headsets before and this just is so much easier to work with than some of the others. And I'm yet to see what I can do with the link cable. So stay tuned, subscribe and um, yeah, hope to see you for another video. Let me know what you thought. Thanks.